Agora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, I'll give a couple other examples of how Stephen Colbert has used this, uh, th this, uh, these leaderboards that enable people to affiliate and to compete. Um, he, during the uh, uh, Democratic presidential primary, he created um, what he called a philanthropic straw poll, where you could donate to a classroom project in honor of the candidate that you liked the most. Uh, and that donation to that favored candidate would push your candidate higher up in what Stephen called a straw poll that makes a difference. Um, and uh, uh, long story short, before the um, Pennsylvania primary, uh, Obama supporters decided that uh, they had to show that they could do more good for kids in Pennsylvania public schools than Hillary Clinton supporters, uh, and more than $200,000 in, in donations were generated during just a 10-day um, period. Uh, the other example I'll give is when um, Stephen Colbert uh, broadcast his show from Iraq for a week. Um, he uh, called on all of his viewers to support our troops by supporting their children's education, by going to donorschoose.org and um, donating to one of the hundreds of project requests that are posted by teachers at military serving public schools. And you could donate to one of these classroom projects for military children in honor of the Army or the Navy or the Air Force or the Marines. And each donation pushed that branch of the armed services higher up in what became an Army versus Navy uh, philanthropic smackdown. And the Coast Guard had been left out, but they formally petitioned to be uh, <laughs> let back in. Um, and there, too, it was, it was nearly $200,000 that was donated uh, for uh, classroom projects for military children. Um, had there not been this ability to affiliate and to compete, we would have raised $200. Um, so would, would, um, I, hopefully that'll spark an idea or two about how you can enable your constituents as well to form teams and to uh, compete with each other.